Alright, what's good? I'm doing this video because earlier today one of my boys hit me up in reference to using multiple outs in machine for Studio One. So I'm gonna quickly show y'all how to do it because it's really simple. So I'm gonna let this beat play for a second and then I'll I'll just I'll let the beat play and then you'll see what I mean. So here we go. Let me turn this up. All right, you get the point. So the pads that I'm using in this are this, 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 uh, that one, and one more of those. And then in this group here, I'm using this and this one. So what I'm gonna do is, the first step in that is going in machine. Um, so up here, you'll have to go into the output mode which if you hit channel on there or if you look up in here you're looking in this area here and you also have to be in uh, sound if you want to send individual sounds to an out so I set the output so I hit this pad let me do this I'll tap the kick I'll come up here to output and right now I'll set the group I'll set that to one I'll come to this other kick that I know that I'm using and I'll set the output of that to two. Take that snare, I'll set that to three and so on. These hi-hats, I'll put them all on four. Four. All right, and, and as I tap them, you'll notice that now you won't hear any sound from any of them. I think that's all of the sounds. Uh, I think I used that one too, so I'll put that one on group five. Uh, all right, anything else that's there will just get left behind for now. So I'll come up here. I'll put that one in group six. I think I used six so far, let me see. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll take that and put that on group seven. So I'm done with what I need to do on machine. So I'll go ahead and close, uh, close the machine window. Now, if I come up in here on track one, you see I have machine two loaded. If I hit the arrow, bear with me, I'm looking through my phone and I hit expand, boom. Now you have all these machine outs. So two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And as I tap them, the additional things pop up there. So now watch when I hit the pads. So now I'm going to play the same beat and you see them come up on their individual channels. Give me one second. Here we go. Now, if I was to let the beat play longer, you would hear some of those other elements in there. But I just wanted to whip up something real quick to show you how easy it is. The advantage of this is instead of exporting your uh, exporting your audio from machine and then dropping it into uh, Studio One, you're locked into whatever you have. But if you do it this way, you can record your sound live from individual channels up to the 16 and you can apply processing individually and you're not locked in because you're still you know what you're seeing on the screen is the result of MIDI then you rec can record from those individual tracks um, as they are so 
Hopefully this helps some people because I've seen this come up before and I've seen some rather difficult looking uh, tutorials online to do something this quick and easy. Um, that's it. Hopefully I help somebody.